Evening guys, um, another quick video. Last time we did the first session, uh, the first section on George Silver's battle grips and closes, so now we'll do the second section. Again, we'll put the word in, George Silver's word in below. The second section is follow on from the first second, second section. The first one, which is the arm rack, if you remember, was the tack somewhere coming in high on my left hand side. Now we're looking at it's a similar attack, but it comes in a little bit lower. Again, it doesn't matter, I can start here, for ease I can start from this position, it doesn't really matter. But being, as the attack comes in, I'm going to use a bastard garden board, as it says, and stop it. Now, to grip some closes, what's happening is he's going to try and come in and grab this. That's what he's trying to do. Again, he's trying to push me in, which will the blade, etc. What we're going to do, go to George Silver, as I stop it. As I stop, as he comes in, I grab on. Okay, so I grab somewhere here, I then move diagonally outside of him with my blade and get my arm behind his elbow. You can bring the camera around. Get my sword and my arm behind his elbow. The whole of this here, here, it doesn't matter where, as long as you've got control of the blade. Now, George Silver is always telling us to push with this hand and pull with this. And we're going to break things. Let's not do that. But the point being is we now have control. Okay, be sure now he can now try and grab me, he can come round and try and grab me, but the point being, again, I have got control, I can cause real damage, I can keep stepping through, I can keep stepping through, and eventually I can cut and I have control. The point being, I'm going to cause a lot of pain and damage, pain, damage. Now, I'll just go through that again, this is the full version of the Wayne and George's, George Silver's text. The point being, the attack comes in, I stop with the bastard garden board. I have this hand ready. As he steps in, I grab and I step through. I'm causing lots of nice damage here. Okay? And then I'm pushing through. Oh, sorry. And out. What we thought, sorry about that. <laughs> what we realised is that that's the full version of his, of his, of his um, text. Like anything with Sil Silver, that's one version. And it's very forgiving, it can go wrong. For example, if I have a sword, the important part is the first section. As the attack comes in, I block. If he tries to close, I can grip, and as he steps in, I can step back. And I can keep pulling him. I can grab there, I can grab there, I can grab there. It doesn't matter. The point being, as he tries to close, all I need to do is grab and pull. I want to remember he is trying to close onto me. So that's the first part of the move. Because I have a blade, that makes sense. The whole move makes more sense if I have unequal weapons, say if he has a knife and I have a walking stick or something along those lines. Um, what I'll do is a second video now quickly with a knife and walk walk walking stick. But I hope that helps. I hope you like the wording. Let me know what you think.